All right, welcome back to the show now. She's appearing at the House of Comedy this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Tiffany Norton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, I don't know if you guys saw this uh, or this came out just recently, and I'm pretty excited about this fact. Apparently, California has now approved the very first car that can drive itself. Have you heard that? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, yeah, I know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I can't wait to get drunk in one of those babies. <laughs> Let's give that a shot, right? Um, I know, and it's, uh, I love uh, that story. I also saw this. Apparently, they're, uh, they've taught a dog now to drive a special car. So now they're going to actually have uh, assistance dogs for drunks. I think that's <laughs> nice as well. <laughs> uh, I do, when I get to, you know, get to enjoy my weekends, I do like to enjoy a little bit of wine. But uh, lately, I've been drinking those Mike's Hard Cranberries. I don't know if you've tried those girls. They're delicious. And they prevent UTI infections. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> Got a little awkward in here, but you know what? I'm used to awkward. In fact, I get involved in a lot of awkward conversations. One of them just happened at work recently. I got kind of uh, cornered in the hall with a woman I didn't know very well, and she started asking me just a bunch of personal questions. And then she springs this on me. She's like, oh, my God, your hair is so long. Are you growing it out for locks of love? <laughs> I was like, no, I actually grew this out for self-esteem. Is that still a thing? I'm not sure. And then I got an awkward conversation with my doctor. Uh, I had to go for my annual examination, although my normal doctor wasn't available, so I got a new doctor. And at the end of my exam, she asked me something so strange. She actually asked me if I wanted a mirror to look down there. I said, no thanks, it's not a haircut. I don't need to see the back. Good. The worst of it all, though, was my husband. My husband and I got in this awkward conversation. Uh, he actually had the nerve to ask me, and we've been together for 14 years, had the nerve to ask me what I would do if he cheated on me. I said, 30 to life, because I'm going to kill you. Come on now. <laughs> I'll tell you why the conversation came up, though. I don't know if you remember this uh, article, in the, or this came out in the news a couple months ago, but there was a couple, they'd only been married for eight days, and then the bride pushed the husband off the cliff. Ooh. And my husband and I were talking about it, and his, his take on it was, he's like, she is a murderer. I said, you don't know. <laughs> Maybe he said something really stupid. Uh, oh. <laughs> and the cliff is right there. I mean, because think about it. What if he had just said to her, hey, honey, I, you know, I banged one of the bridesmaids. <laughs> That's not murder. That's an assisted suicide, OK? <laughs> That's your fault. That's on you. Although you got to feel bad for the guy, rookie mistake. He'd only been you know, married eight days. He doesn't know. You don't have that kind of conversation next to a cliff. You have that conversation in a rambler or an underground parking ramp or a ball pit, you know? <laughs> Cushion the blow a bit. <laughs> Although I'm not terribly worried about my husband cheating on me, and it's not because I think I'm so great or anything like that. That's certainly not the case. I just don't think my husband's capable of it. And by capable of it, I mean uh, he can't text. I think that helps. <laughs> I think that helps. I do. He doesn't Google either. No, it's cute. Uh, he tried it once. You have to understand, my husband is a mechanic, and he had heard from his buddies that he could go online and look up some really cool car parts. Unfortunately, the word he chose to search for were heavy duty trannies. <laughs> <laughs> and he got a lot of hits. All right, thank you guys so much. Tiffany Norton. Woo! Very nice. You're awesome. Thank you, honey.